And violence epidemic, it has had a major impact on Philadelphia and the Delaware Valley. And fighting it takes calculated measures from state, local, and federal agencies. Today, we got a glimpse into the efforts by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Action News reporter Maggie Kent live for us in Center City with more on this exclusive interview with the agency's director, Maggie. Well, Shari, Pennsylvania sits on the Iron Pipeline. That's known as the uh, Traverse on the I-95 corridor, where unfortunately crime guns are sold and bought. And here, we're both a supplier state and a recipient state. I talked to ATF Director Steve Dettelbach today about their efforts in stemming those gun crimes from happening here and, of course, stopping those suppliers. Test fire, test fire, test fire. <laughs> In Essington, an agent with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives fires a recovered crime gun into this specialized Nibin machine. He'll examine the cartridge and, more importantly, the markings left behind. We're able to use technology to almost get a fingerprint of, uh, of a crime gun. It really allows us to run almost a criminal history of that gun, to link together one murder with another shooting. It's one part of an arsenal of crime-fighting tools used to stop gun crimes and trafficking. We sat down exclusively with the national director of the ATF today, Steve Dettelbach. Dealing firearms. There's a lot to tackle. First up, the exponential rise in illegal ghost or privately manufactured guns. Right here in Philadelphia, just this year in 2023, uh, well over 300, almost 400 privately made firearms have been recovered. Evidenced by the crimes we cover, shooters are unloading more ammunition than ever. Illegal bump stocks or gun auto switches are becoming an issue. In a matter of seconds, they can change a legal semi-automatic weapon into an illegal machine gun. This is a problem in Philadelphia. This is not some hypothetical problem. In Philadelphia alone, this year alone, over 100 of these devices have been recovered by the police associated with violent acts. The ATF is only as strong as its partnerships in law enforcement. It's teamed up with the Philadelphia police to catch and federally prosecute carjackers. That carjacking task force uh, is now a national model for how we can do better at trying to focus on a particular crime in a particular place in partnership. Now, the ATF, of course, is interested in finding those people who are using the guns to carry out crime, but they also are proactive in trying to stop those illegal sales before they begin. You can catch our entire interview with ATF Director Dettelbach on 6ABC streaming apps. You can scroll down to look for more videos and watch everything that he had to say. Of course, it's also posted on our website, 6ABC.com. We're live in Center City tonight. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Rick, Shari. All right, Maggie, thank you.